Welcome to the White House, everybody. And uh, we are so pleased to have the Detroit Shock here. Uh, we want to congratulate them and all your fans for your third WNBA championship in six years. Give them a big round of applause. We've got uh, some special fans from Capitol Hill, Hill here who, who take great pride in Detroit. Senator Carl Levin is in the House. <laughs> Representative Sandy Levin is in the House. And Representative Carolyn Kilpatrick is in the House. Uh, I want to thank uh, Donna Orender, the president of the WNBA, who's here today. Where's Donna's right back here? There she is, right there. <laughs> Congratulations on the success of this league and the inspiration it provides to young women everywhere. Uh, I also want to thank the owner of the Detroit Shock and the Detroit Pistons, Karen Davidson, for coming. Your husband, your husband Bill had a great impact not just in the NBA and the WNBA, but also on countless individuals who benefit uh, from his giving spirit. Now, I have to say, Everybody knows I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. <laughs> and uh, a few years ago, when the, the Bulls and the Pistons were thick in the middle of their rivalry, I never imagined that I'd be saying, congratulations, Bill Lambeer. <laughs> or congratulations, Rick Mahorn. And if I knew I was president then, to think that I'd be inviting them to the White House, it's hard, hard to, to, to take, but let's face it, these guys are winners. Uh, they always have been. Uh, they know how to win. Uh, and I want to congratulate uh, the finals MVP, Katie Smith. <laughs> Team captain, Cheryl Ford. <laughs> and all the other women that make this such an outstanding team. I also want to salute this organization, this team, for donating so much time and energy to lifting up the Detroit community. Uh, they've given free tickets to underprivileged youth, mentored, abused women and children, donated backpacks filled with school supplies to foster kids, restored a rundown library into a safe, clean place for kids to play and to grow. And I want to thank them for participating in our United We Serve Summer of Service. Uh, earlier today, these players took time to host a WNBA fit clinic for young boys and girls at a local boys and girls club to teach fitness and nutrition and self-confidence. And I understand they brought some of the young participants along with them to the White House. I suspect it must be these young people here today. Let me also say something as a father. I was mentioning it to the, uh, to the team uh, before we came out. You know, it's hard to believe that WNBA has already been around for 12 years. And that means that my daughters have never known a time when women couldn't play professional sports. They look at the TV and they see me watching Sports Center and they see young women who look like them on the screen. Uh, and that lets them and all our young women, as well as young men, know uh, that uh, we should take for granted that women are going to thrive and excel as athletes. And it makes my daughters look at themselves differently, to see that they can be champions too. So as a father, I want to say thank you. And thank you to all the WNBA athletes who work hard each day to set a positive example to which all our daughters can aspire. Congratulations again on your championship season. Good luck this year. And coach, thank you. congratulations. <laughs> congratulations. All right, thank you. Got my, my jersey here? Yeah, sure. And Cheryl Ford is coming down. Okay, come on. Mm -hmm. But on behalf of the 2008 World Champion Detroit Shock and the Davidson family, we present you, President Obama, with a Detroit Shock. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. All right, come on. Let's show this off.